Hi, welcome to mathforallgrades.com videos. In this video, I am going to discuss the formula of average, an important one in statistics. Let's go on. Average is defined as sum of numbers over number of numbers. Average is also called as arithmetic mean or even simply mean. There are various kinds of means like arithmetic mean, harmonic mean, geometric mean, but they are all not called as average. Among the various kinds of means, it is arithmetic mean, also called simply mean, which is alternately referred to as also average. We are coming to the definition. So average of some numbers is average of some numbers is sum of those numbers over number of numbers. Average or mean is this formula. In short, we can remember average A as sum S. S denotes sum of the numbers over N. N denotes number of numbers. The formula is very simple and clear. Let's do an example. Suppose we have these numbers whose average must be found. Then what is the average of these numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10? Let's do it. So average or mean is equal to how many numbers are there? 5. And what will their sum be? Take a second and add them and find the sum. It will be 30. So average is equal to 6. So this is what average or mean in simple and short is. Now, let me tell you an important shortcut for finding average of some numbers. You can see that these numbers which we have taken are in arithmetic sequence. They are in arithmetic sequence. Let me write in full. The numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 which we have written here happen to be in arithmetic sequence. What is meant by that? When there is a constant difference between any two numbers coming next to each other, then the numbers are said to form the pattern called arithmetic sequence. I repeat, if there is a constant difference between any two consecutive numbers, between any two successive numbers, numbers coming next immediately to each other are called consecutive or successive numbers. Between any two consecutive or successive numbers, if there is a same difference, then the numbers are said to form the pattern called arithmetic sequence. Now, if the numbers are in arithmetic sequence, if the numbers are in arithmetic sequence, then average of all the numbers will be same as average of the smallest and the largest. This is a very simple formula to find average if numbers are in arithmetic sequence. Here the smallest number is 2 and largest number is 10 and because there is, they are in arithmetic sequence because the difference here between any two consecutive numbers is a constant figure 2. 2 is the same difference between any two consecutive numbers. Therefore these numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 happen to be in arithmetic sequence. Since they are in arithmetic sequence, you can use this shorter way for finding their average. Now, the smallest number is 2, the largest number is 10 and their average is again 6. You must write 2 here. Why 2? Because for average, denominator is number of numbers. Smallest and largest will be how many in number? Will be 2 in number. Therefore, 2 here. So average of these numbers which are in arithmetic sequence is average of the smallest and largest which is 6. Same as the average of all the numbers formed by using this normal formula. So this is the formula of average. And from the average formula which is S by N, try to remember an useful one. That is this same formula A is equal to S by N. If you rewrite it, then you will get this another useful one. Sum of numbers when their average is given and how many of them are there is known. Then S will be equal to A into N. 
say for example there are 10 numbers having an average 15 then sum of 10 numbers with average 15 will be 115 so s is equal to a into n is useful to remember when some of some numbers have to be found given their average and how many they are in number so this is what average in simple and short is thank you for watching this video keep watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe bye